subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Nope. And today, we are going to get into another Windows 10 how-to tutorial. And today, we're going into the ease of access settings. These settings are used for if you do have a disability, vision, hearing, so on, then these settings are for you. So as far as that goes, let's jump on in. So what you need to do is you don't need to be on an administrator account, but you do need to go to the settings by either going to notifications there or by a start and just go to settings. From here, you will see ease of access. Now, as far as the ease of access, again, it's meant for people with some disability. So, for example, the narrator, if you have a vision problem or you're blind, you can use the narrator to say what is on the screen and what the mouse is hovering over. You can turn on and off the narrator start it automatically and up let's turn that off real quick and start it automatically choose but voice the speed pitch of their voice sounds you hear and the keys that you push again this is meant for mostly people with vision problems more so on the blind side than anything else and um and that way they can still use a computer but while being blind now as far as the magnifier this is again for someone who has vision problems but is not blind so a lot of people can actually get a use out of this and what you can do is turn this on and basically you can get a closer view you can invert the colors so the um depending on how things are just depend on if this is going to be good for your eyes or not or if it matters with the magnifier it basically brings up this application and the magnifier um as you saw just magnifies tracking keyboard focus follow mouse cursor so say for example I move around the mouse it's going to follow it or we can just turn it off contrast as you've seen before it basically changes the color of everything this does require the operating system to do that and you can turn it off by going to the drop down menu Closed captions, it's just turn on closed captions, the style and everything. And that way you can end up reading what's being said and what's done. And, um, and if, if you have vision or hearing problems, but as far as this goes, one thing I want to mention is this works to a degree. So one thing you might want to do is if you do have a problem where you need closed captions like if you're deaf make sure that you're running deaf friendly applications or if you're blind blind friendly applications and that way you could get a better use out of this keyboard sticky keys toggle keys things of that nature so if someone has arthritis or it can't hit the key or maybe they've been in an accident and they don't have all their fingers then this will help them out quite a bit also you have a on-screen keyboard this is what's used for tablets and stuff so if it's easier for you to click on the keys by mouse then touch on the keyboard then you have also that option but you you will use this really for uh, touchscreen computers mostly for the um, tablets and stuff of that nature mouse the 
size of the mouse and the thickness of the icons and the uh, color and also the it, it may be easier for you to move the mouse with the number keys and um and that way you can do whatever and also it may be easier for you to just hit the control to speed up or shift to slow down again all people with arthritis and some other stuff can get a use out of that and then you have other options like plain animation showing windows background and so other things and again this is for visual problems and stuff like that or just in general but anyways as far as that goes and uh then you have cursor thickness so if, if you have a hard time seeing the um when you're typing the actual little line so trying to figure out where that line is and the visual notification should flash the in the tile bar active window and so on and um, that way you can get a good idea that something's going on and there's a notification that you need to be paying attention to so anyways as far as that goes if you do have any questions or anything on this then please feel free to leave them down below and i'll try to get to them as quickly as possible same thing with any comments or anything that you want added on one thing i will tell you right now is there is third party software out there to give you more in an advanced field for people with disability but a lot of people tend to use this because one it's free and it's guaranteed to work with the operating system since it comes with the operating system itself but again there is third party software out there uh, voice um, stuff where you can actually tell the computer to do something and you can do it on here but there's a lot of third party software that does it a lot better um, same thing with with plenty of other things but uh, again if you like this please leave a like subscribe share and please feel free to check out the other videos and follow us on twitter so you know when new videos come out but if you didn't like this go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so i can fix it in future videos Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Autotech Views Nope. Hope you have a great day.